check this out. Let's go check it out. Okay, so we're at this ruin up on uh, Francis Mesa, the back of Francis Canyon. And it's a pretty big one. This thing consisted of like 40 rooms all together when it was fully built. Of course, you got some things over here you can see that were burned down. Probably dwellings made of wood. But this was more of a fort. Uh, still operating as late as the early 1700s. Uh, and all of these are real defensive sites. Of course, you can see there's the canyon there. But you got two, two loopholes here, two peak holes. You can see my son right there, just to give you a size. I'd... But what you got here is a three-story house. There's a cool fireplace to look at. There's lots to check out. So what we'll do is we'll begin to go around through here and show you the entirety of this specific ruin. Get a glimpse over this wall. As you can see, here's one room, a large room. There's a, a hole to come through through there. You can climb up and go into the second story of this three-story house. So we'll go check that out. We had another house right here. It's uh, separate. As you can see, it's separate. And uh, that whole south wall there is broken down. It's so cold. This might have been like a storage. Actually, that was just where they would smoke meat and stuff. You see, meat. They would cook. It seems like they would cook in there. Well, there would be ashes. They would make jerky in there, guys. Jerky. Oh, check out this cool fireplace, guys. Really cool. It's got a chimney coming out the top of the roof. Crawl through this little. And they were warring with the Spaniards, so I wouldn't doubt it if this place was torched at some point in time. You can see the wood is burned here, and on the back side of the property here, I'll show you how there were some wood structures that burned down. So that place we just crawled through, you can see here, and this is the roof of it, right here. You see the chimney? There's that chimney right there, the fire pit. This is the second story of this house. pottery on the floor still. See that? See here's a, a hole going down to the first story. So you go down here. There's also an entrance here on the other side. And uh, most of these lumbers I believe were dated in the early 1700s, late 1600s when they they did cores on these. They drill holes and get a date. You can see there's this one right there. Yeah, there's a core right there. See, they drill a hole. There's names and stuff up here. Okay. And they get a core sample. And they can find out when this tree was cut down. This is another one. And it's uh, early 1700s, guys. But there's some old uh, writings in here. See, people have been checking this place out a long time. Um, 1946. There's another one right here. 
Another one here, all over the 80s, 90s. People carved their name on these, these lumbers. And then of course we got another room here. You go in there, Con. I'll go. And you guys go ahead, I'll go right behind you. But yeah, this is cool. You can stand up in it. It's pretty big. So you go in here, here's another room. See if we can lighten it up in here. Defensive. See, they had, they could see everything around. Oh. These sites were built as for just defensive purposes. This is a larger one. This is an actual like fort with 40 rooms. Probably, you know, 100 people probably lived here. I think that would be like a second floor. You could like move that room up or something. Maybe it's like a secret nah. door thing. Yeah, you don't know. No, you can't. You can't go through there. It's blocked. Yeah, maybe Let's go through this one. Look through there. The birdies. There's probably some petroglyphs down there. Take a look around. So we're going to go look at the other side. I really like that fireplace though. That's really cool. We're coming back out. Come around to the back side here. You can see there's another room right there. You can see the entrance to it. Right there. And of course, coming through here, so I'm sure this was roofed as well. Hi guys! Get off of there. That's a roof. The lumbers. roof right there. This is probably another one right here. It's probably likely a room right here you see. There would have been a wall going across here. Making this another room. This is a pretty big house. Really. And uh, there would have been another tower there. Probably about, you know, yay high, or maybe even higher one, but you can see here, there's another room, of course, going through the one I just showed you. Come in here, it's really awesome. See the roof? From outside, it looks just like regular ground, but you're actually on the roof. See where they did their course. Okay, so we're going down into this, this, uh, this crack. Come here, buddy. Be careful. Okay, watch your step. Oh. See, so he cuts in between these rocks. We got a real old piece of lumber there. Let's see, it's like between two walls. See, got a wall on each side. I don't see no petroglyphs in here or anything like that. Go! Careful, buddy. You guys see any writings? Well, that's interesting. See that lumber under there? What's up with that? You see through this hole. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, there's a piece of lumber here. It's strange. That's a huge rock. And then you 
you go up and round back to the to the top. Be careful, little guy. And this is the other side of that. Of course, I believe that you know the Spanish were battling with these people. You read about large battles. And I believe that's what happened here. I believe this place was thrown down. It was destroyed by the Spaniards. That's a piece of bone. See the marrow? This is the stuff that looks like it's got holes. That's what the marrow is. That's what he just found. Piece of bone. Yeah, who knows what's underneath the, the dirt. You know? Watch out for snakes, guys. So now, as you top this hill, back towards the ruin, just right behind this tree here. This would be like, this would be like a good spot for the like, cover if they were like, shooting arrows through the Escape there. part! Yeah, so I believe right through that area we were just walking, there were some hogans, some wood structures. And then over here you can see evidence of out there's uh cactuses guys right over here you can see evidence of like burned structures see the ground is black it's ashes you can see it all through here the ground is mixed and mingled with ashes which indicates to me that there was wood structures here that were torched Yeah, and inside the Hogans, there was pots. So of course we see the evidence of of burned pots. So, right. Yeah, those are pretty flowers, Pam. Let me see. Dig with your foot. Just a little bit. See, it's just coals. It's all torched. Yeah, so standing here, you got the main Pueblo. And then you had this building, of course, it's tore down, probably tore down at the same time that the Hogans down here were torched. And then the Hogans over here, of course, are torched, as I've showed you. Because there were mighty wars, you know, with the Spaniards. But uh, I wanted to show you one more, because this is a big complex, really, considering. Like right here, see? Right here, there's another wall right here. There was a, a wall. Just right next to the... Right here next to it. See, there's another wall. Another wall here. So this was a whole other structure. See the corner. Of course, the roof is collapsed in on them. Again, right here, the roof is collapsed. So you're standing on an old roof right there that's been fallen. See the lumber. Yeah, I thought this was a fascinating place to share. So I thought I'd share it with y'all.